now I have a show at uh, 212 Arts Center and it features all of the local paintings that I've done around the Celine area and it's called Our Town, Our Land, Painting Celine. Over the last 25 years, uh, we moved to Celine in 1991. I have been going out and painting the landscape around Celine. M many, many farms and also downtown, the old houses in the area, just, just the beauty of the landscape around us. So all of the paintings in the show are local paintings. Almost every single one is from Celine. There's a few that inch a little bit toward Ann Arbor. But a lot of plein air painting because plein air is my true love. Plein air is when you paint outside. It's a French term that means in the full air. So I actually go out with my easel, whether I'm painting in pastel, watercolor, or oil, and paint exactly what's in front of me. I had originally wanted to be an artist. I went to U of M art school, majored in painting, and fully expected that I was gonna have a career in painting to the very last semester when I realized I'd be starving artist if I did that. So I moved into graphics for the last semester and then a 30-year career in advertising. I fully thought that I was gonna work in advertising during the day and paint at night, but you know, 50, 60 hour weeks. I really didn't paint at all for 20 years. So my mentor, a wonderful woman named Mary Beth Cousy, was a pastel artist. But she brought me along the pastel path and really helped me grow and understand that even if it, I wasn't starting at 20, I was more like starting at 45, 50, I, I could advance and, and do well in the career that I really always wanted to have. And I painted off and on in my studio but I didn't like to paint from photos. It didn't ring true to me. And I learned more and more about groups of painters that were going out and painting the landscape or the countryside, and heard about how they could really capture the essence of a scene much better by being on site, and that really attracted me. And you can really catch color and light and atmosphere much better in person, so. I started that and I've really kind of become addicted to it. You know, I always say my favorite piece is the piece I'm working on right now, because if I'm not in love with the piece that I'm working on, I shouldn't be working on it. But there's a couple pieces in that show that are really special to me. Some of the large paintings I did of the houses in Celine were really a turning point for me. Um, I was always afraid of painting architecture, but when I saw, started seeing them as not as buildings, but as colored shapes, darks and light, um, it really shifted the way I looked at structures or buildings. There's one small, quiet oil painting. It's called The Old Place on State Street. I really like that one, because I didn't overwork it. It's a constant fight for me not to overwork. What plein air painting, and all painting really for me, is capturing the light, painting the light. So I usually try and find a focal point that has the brightest brights and the darkest darks in it. And that area is usually more detailed and crisp than the other areas in the painting because that's how your eye sees. You know, if you see a sailboat in a harbor, you focus very much on that sailboat, but everything else kind of fades away. The other boats, the docks, the water are in your peripheral vision. So when I paint, I try and keep that in mind. It's some, sometimes hard to do because you start painting and you just want to catch every little detail. With plein air painting, it's, it's really important to work faster than you might work in a studio because you have probably two hours at the most to capture a scene. Any more than that, the scene becomes a completely different one. The light has changed, the shadows have changed, the atmosphere, the clouds are gone, you know. Things that you noticed about it that really made your heart sing aren't there anymore. So I usually paint an oil painting, you know, a nine by 12 or 12 by 12 in, a, in an hour and a half or two hours. When I first started, it was daunting and frustrating and scary because I just felt like I I didn't have the tools yet to be able to reproduce what I saw in my mind or what I actually saw in front of me. Now I feel much more comfortable with it because usually I start with a small sketch that grounds me and, and reminds me exactly what is the part of the scene that I want to highlight. And I feel that I can, either with brushes or pastels, uh, use my tools better and actually 
visualize and then create what's in my mind or, or what I'm seeing. So it's it's not as scary, but you know, it's adrenaline thing. It's kind of you know a rush to to get out there and go. Oh my God, that's a scene. That's what I want to capture. Go. It's kind of a thrilling proposition to me. 212 is great. They've been wonderful for years to me. They've always asked me to have a show, and, and this show seemed like it was the right place for 212 because it's all about Celine. It's 25 years of painting in Celine, and it really doesn't belong anywhere else but here. That was the funnest part of the show for me. I've had quite a few, I've been in quite a few exhibits and, and a couple of my own solo shows. But with this show, people were walking up to paintings and looking at them very closely and then going, oh, that's down the street from me, or I know who lives there, or, you know, we drive by that every day on the way to work. So it had a, a special kind of connection that you don't always have. I've, I've had a big show of Italian paintings, and everybody loves Italy, but they didn't know Italy, the scenes I was painting, the same way I knew them. At this show, everybody had a connection, a local connection to the show. So it was the actual artist reception was wonderful. I'm busy, keeps me, keeps me crazy busy. People always say, oh, you're so lucky to retire. I'm like, I'm not retired, I just moved to another career and I'm still working 50, 60 hours a week. And, but I love it, it's like the joy of my life. <laughs>